As many of you know, English is not my native language. I left Ukraine two years ago, and since then I've been working and traveling as a digital nomad. And the core of the productivity is how I have time to do YouTube videos, work on my client project, create websites, and actually travel and enjoy my life. It is time management. This is the core of productivity. And the first thing that I do every morning is actually open Google Calendar or Apple Calendar. If you don't have Apple device, just go to Google type calendar and you have a pretty similar interface and you can do that there. And then I would start actually time blocking everything. So the first thing I would do is actually look at the DM. So today is we have Tuesday and it is now 1.30 p.m. So I will from now until 2 p.m. I will actually record this video. So I'm gonna literally type this record YouTube video. I already did this before. So I'm just gonna make it 30 minutes to record everything, to set up everything. And after that, what I would usually do is uh, it would be 2 p.m. So it would be actually first meal of the day for me. Uh, it's a breakfast for someone is lunch. I'm just going to literally type it here and I'm going to just actually put it in here in health category and I'm going to type go have lunch. For lunch, I usually don't eat carbs. So whether it's uh, salad, meat, chicken, eggs, something like that with minimum carbs. So I'm going to type it no carbs or minimum carbs. So after that, I make it 30 minutes. After that, I will edit and publish this video. So I'm going to again type it here, publish it to video. So I'm going to make it that. For category, I make it work. And this would be hell for me. And this would be let me actually create a new category, so a new calendar, and I'm going to name it YouTube. So I have the distinction between client work that I do and the YouTube videos that I do. So I'm going to make it YouTube, and this would be also the YouTube category. After that, uh, this would be 4 p.m. probably, and I will do gym session. So it's just a quick 45 minute gym session. I do it every day, so I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to make it repeat and I'm gonna make it every day. So nothing hard, just 45 minutes of uh, gym, just escape for me to exercise in the middle of the day. So I do from uh, morning until afternoon and from afternoon until late night work. And in the middle I have a uh, escape, which is gym. I can listen to music. I can check my social media. That's one thing that I do is I try to not check social media or only when I'm in the gym. So all the other time, I don't use social media. When I go to the gym, I can scroll through Instagram. I can scroll through Telegram, check my messages, reply to friends and stuff like that. So that's one thing. And uh, after the gym, I will uh, have uh, two hours of actual client work. So all the other work today was for YouTube, for myself. And then I will have two hours of client work. So I'm going to type it here. So probably I will work on a client's project until 7 p.m. So I'm gonna make it like this. And after that, it'd be a good time to have uh, dinner. So for the dinner, I do usually some not really healthy food. My, might be like fried rice or noodles or some Thai food. Not sure how healthy is it, but I'm gonna just put it here. Dinner can eat carbs. So I literally type that into calendar so I don't feel guilty when I do eat it. After, the, after that, I will, um, as uh, you might notice, the last time I posted on Twitter was 10 days ago. So by the way, if you don't follow me, you can follow because I post here a lot of uh, source files for a framer and stuff like that. What I often forget to do is to call my family. So if I don't schedule it into my calendar, often days and weeks can go by me not talking to them. So I will type that also here, call my family, my family. I'll type that in here. And after that, I have one hour before I go to sleep. Usually I go to sleep at uh, 1 a.m. So before going to bed, I like to make my brain relax. I don't like to do something that will make me think hard. So I usually just watch Netflix, Netflix in Italian. And at the same time, I can learn and practice my Italian. So that's a double benefit for me. One thing to mention about the client work that I have here, it's usually one of three things that I do. And the first thing is going to marketplace and looking for a template that 
I'm going to work with. So whenever I got new client onboarding, so if they have e-commerce, I will find some e-commerce template. If they have a personal brand, I will find some personal brand that work with their brand, that work with their colors, with their structure. And I will bookmark all of them to in the future be able to actually start working on them. So that would be my first uh, working session and it would be like about two hours and actually that's the most important thing because if you don't choose the right template the right structure you can spend weeks and months working on something that would be much simpler if you had actually chose a template or a structure that you wanted to go with so that's a step i never miss second time block so i will actually uh, block it tomorrow after I wake up, I will do another time block of client work. So let's say from 8 a.m. until about uh, 11 a.m. I will do another block of client work. So for this, the second time is actually creating few options of the hero section. So once I chose a template, I will actually go ahead and create a few options of how it's going to look and feel. So for example, for a client that I did uh, for this website, we started with actually creating two options of the hero section and I'm going to quickly show you the templates that I've used. So the first template is actually um, this one. It has some text on the left side and the image on the right side. So you can see it here. Create a similar, just changing the text, changing the colors, changing the illustration. And for another template, it's this template. So if I go in here and I open it, so this is the template, basically, it has a lot of structure, a lot of pages, and it has everything that you might need. So basically, I took this, I customized it for their project, their marketplace. So I based the relevant picture here, relevant information, and going on with that. So that would be my second block of work. And the third block of work, if I place it tomorrow, it might be I will send it to the client, I will get their feedback. And the third step would be is actually creating the rest of the design, which is uh, I will show you basically how it looks. So I gone ahead and based on the template, I created the rest for their section. Obviously, some sections are custom. There would be uh, some sections that are not on the template. As you can see here, it looks a little bit different from the home page that I did here. It's a bit longer. We have a few new pages like the tokenomics page section, uh, which obviously custom made because it was not on the template, like roadmap was not on the template as well. This section wasn't on the template. So I created the graphics here as well, custom for this project uh, to reflect their marketplace structure and uh, created the rest of the homepage. So, and also the mobile version. Uh, the mobile version was also not complicated because they have already. I just needed to update it based on the changes that I made. So after that, uh, I sent it to a client. It would take me probably another two hours. And then I would get their feedback and the final, maybe the fourth, or if they like everything, we can move from there. And after the client work tomorrow, I will work on my personal template. So I, other than working on a client's project and on the YouTube channel, I also work on the templates. So here are the few templates that I already created. You can see them here. It has a lot of animations, a lot of interactions. So this would be my first and you can get them absolutely for free just by going to my Twitter and you can see here I uh, uh, give them for free and, uh, and you can also DM me on Instagram to get those for free. So I will main this time block work on my templates. After that, I'll do another uh, time block of work. So I'm just going to type it here. So as you notice, I don't literally type everything that I'm going specifically do here because I tend to plan only the current day in details. So when I wake up or the night before I plan uh, today, basically in details, in hours, what I do every minute and stuff like that. But the day after that and the next day and Friday and Saturday, I usually just plan time blocks. So it's not included dinners, not including lunches because it might differ on different days. So I'm just gonna put it like this. And then after work, I'm just gonna dedicate some time to learning. So currently I'm learning AI agents, uh, something to create with AI, maybe calling the API of an AI. So I'm creating this application when you can actually uh, select a website that you're building, whether it's a homepage or a sales page. Currently, there are just two types. 
you can select the section and you can type whatever you want a uh, website for and it will create you a uh, text for the website with all of the headlines with all of the buttons with the structure so just uh, working on the app that will help you create a content it's just learning uh, basically learning how to work with uh, front end in bubble here with uh, calling the API, with working with ChatGPT and uh, stuff like that. So I'm going to type it here, learn API. This way I can see where my time goes. I can see that I will actually put time to learning. And after that, after I did some learning, I can actually type here dinner. So again, we just have it here. Maybe make it a little bit longer after dinner so this would be my uh break i'd say yeah and after that i can actually build ai agents so after i've learned a lot about it i can actually take some time and before i go to sleep learn it and make it on practice so after that i have one hour and i can just uh, watch youtube to relax a little bit to make it a bit productive i type in chinese so i also started to learn Chinese for uh, when you live in Asia there is just literally too many reasons to learn it so I think uh, that's a great language and uh, I will start learning it and I will just basically type it in here to make sure that I don't forget to watch it in Chinese and then I have one hour and I can just uh, read something so I'm just gonna read in Italian I'm gonna place it right there and I can allocate time to that as well just like that I can plan every single day until Sunday and on Sunday I can create another time block which is plan the next week and uh, it usually takes me about 30 minutes to one hour sometimes one and a half hours to create a plan for the whole week sometimes it's more concrete sometimes it's less concrete if I don't know if I have any work if I don't know what I'm exactly what I'm going to do but at least creating structure like this where I can see what I'm working on if I put enough time to help if I put enough time to work is a great thing to do